a steel mold, and this is a uh, a graphic from Mold End Graphics. The powder that's uh, in the mold, you can see, has already uh, begun to stick to the steel and to the graphic. One of the things that uh, the, the surface enhancer, they pick up a layer of plastic pretty quickly, or of, uh, of either powder or pellets real quickly. So it uh, assures that you get a good surface condition around the graphic. Now we're going to look at this one time, watching the powder lay down on the graphic, and this time it looks like it's almost deliberate. Now this is a good one to look at close up. You can see the what the powder looks like now, and then late in the cycle. Uh, see if you see any noticeable difference in the uh, structure of the powder and of the size of it. One of the things that is recommended by um, manufacturers of graphics is that you don't wear the graphic out early in the cycle. If, you're, if it takes two or three minutes for the mold, Now the part is beginning to go through the centering process. See it goes through different textures, different appearances as it centers. Now you can begin to see the remaining bubble structure that's left. This is a, uh, a very low melt index material and in this part the bubbles uh, didn't come out in the cycle time that I allowed for it.